Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little code question valid anagram. Okay, so first of all, um, simply length of two string is different, so we cannot create anagram, right? So in this case, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they are same. In that case, there is a possibility that we can create an anagram. And the next step is simply to count the frequency of each character. So we use a hash map because we can compare frequency of a character easily uh, with uh, like a key character. So let's break down uh, string s. So let's say counter equal. So we have three a and uh, one n and uh, one z. So z is one and uh, one r and one m. And then next, so we iterate through all character in like a string t. Then if we find a current character in hash map, so this counter, so uh, subtract one from the same character. So let's iterate through one by one. So now uh, we are like n. So we have n here. So subtract one from uh, n, so zero. And uh, Move next, so we find a, and uh, so subtract one from a, so two, and then d, so subtract one zero, and uh, and uh, we find a, so subtract one, so one, and r subtract one, and a subtract one, and m, so subtract one. So all values are zero. So in that case, we can return true. So we can create an anagram with uh, these two strings. And uh, so let's think about a false case. So what if we have extra a here? So in that case, so counter has like all zero, right? But uh, we have extra a. So in that case, definitely we cannot create an anagram, right? Uh, so because we know that so a is already zero. And uh, how about this? So what if we have um, B here? In the case, um, there is no B in uh, counter, right? I mean, string S. So in the case, we cannot create an anagram. So in the case, we should return false. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So let's jump into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, check length of two strings. So if length of S is not equal to length of t. So in the case, we can immediately return false. If not the case, so we make sure like uh, two strings are uh, same length. So let's count each character. So counter and a uh, hash map. And then for character in S, so counter and the key should be character equal counter dot get so uh, key should be character so if we don't have current character in hash map so default value is zero and uh, plus one is um so for current character so and then we use another for loop for character in t and then um if so this is a like a, a condition for false case. So character is not in counter or counter and the current character is already zero. So in that case, um, we should return false. If not the case, just subtract one from um, current character. So counter and uh, character minus equal one. And then all we have to do is just return two. Yeah, that's it. So let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of n because uh, we iterate through all character one by one. And the space complexity is um, so if um, input strings uh, consist of only lower case character. So in the case order of twenty six. So simplify um, order of twenty six. 
and uh, in the end we will get like O1 space. This is a step-by-step -step algorithm of my solution code. Yeah, so let's talk about the second solution. So my second solution involves using ASCII value. So lowercase a is 97, b is 98, c is 99, and y is 121, d is 122. So it seems like we can use a subtraction for index number from 0 to 25. So I mean 26 characters. So approach is very simple. So first of all, create a um, array with length of 26, then iterate through a string. And every time uh, we can, uh, like, uh, we calculate subtraction with ASCII value. And uh, so, for example, if we want to um, access um, frequency of B, so target index number should be 98 minus 97. So, 98 is a uh, current character ASCII value, and uh, 97 is ASCII value of A. So, why we subtract A? So that's because A is a small ASCII, smallest ASCII value, and the ASCII value of all lower uh, characters are like a sequential. So if we subtract ASCII value of A from ASCII value of current character, so we should be able to uh, retrieve the order of uh, those alphabet, right? So if we want to frequency of C, so just 99 minus 97, so we can uh, access index 2. Right, and if we want to uh, frequency of Z, so in the case 122 minus 97 should be 25, right? Yeah, easy. So uh, this is a, a fixed uh, array. So uh, we we said count, and the length should be 26 from A to Z. And uh, so in the S string we have three A, right, and uh, one N and 1z, uh, and 1r, uh, and 1m, uh, right? And then, um, actually, um, we apply the same idea of um, solution 1. So if target index is already 0, and we should return false. If not the case, uh, subtract 1 from target index. So let's see this through uh, input string one by one. So first of all, n. So n, we have 1, right? So now n is 0. And then next, so a, so subtract 1 from a and 2, and d, and 0. And a is now 1, r is 0, and a again, and 0, and m is 0. So we successfully iterate through all characters, right? So in that case, uh, we can. Um, we can create a, a anagram with two input strings. So that's why we should return true. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So let's jump into the code. OK, so let's write the code. First of all, um, so check length of two strings. So if length of S is not equal length of T, so in the case, we should return false. And then, if not the case, so there is a possibility that we can create an anagram. So count equal, so first of all, initialize like a zero, multiply, so length of alphabet, so 26, right? And then, so first of all, iterate through um, input string S. So for character in S, and uh, count, and uh, key should be, so in Python, uh, we can use like a, I don't know how to say like ORD and uh, character minus ORD and uh, A plus equal one. And then we use another for loop, so character in and T. And uh, if count, and uh, we use same key here equal 0. So in that case, uh, we should return false because the current character is like an extra character. So if not the case, so subtract 1 from current character. So we use this and then minus equal 1. And then 
if、uh, we iterate through all character in string t, so we should return true. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And、uh, time complexity and space complexity is actually the same as、uh, solution one. So time is O n, and the space is like an order of 26, so which is、uh, O 1. This is a step by step algorithm of the second solution. Okay, so let me write two more solution code. I think、uh, you already have enough knowledge to solve this question, so I think、uh, you can easily understand the two solution code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, so check length of string s and t. And then if they are different, return false. After that, so let's say、uh, we use a two hash map. So let's say s count and t count. So point is,、um, so if We don't meet、um, this condition, so this if statement. So that means、uh, we are sure、um, input, two input strings has, have the same length, right? So that's why、um, actually、uh, we can、uh, count frequency of character with、uh, like a single loop. So for i in range, so we can take one of、um, input string. So、uh, we use s. And、uh, s count and the key should be s and i equal so one plus s count dot get and the key should be s i and the default value is zero. And、uh, we copy this and、uh, change、um, s to t so t t t. And then after that, just compare s count equal t count. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And、uh, time and space is the same as solution one and two. So O and time and O1 space. And、uh, so be careful. So if you are a JavaScript guy, I think uh,、um, you, uh, you should choose another algorithm because uh, uh, so in JavaScript, So, this case is false, right? So, different order of data. So, A, B, C, and B, C, A. So, if、uh, order of data is the same, so I think this is a true case. So, I think、uh, we need extra effort to sort data at the last、like、return value here. So, if I am a、um, JavaScript guy, I think I choose another algorithm. Okay, so、uh, let me write one more solution code. It's very simple. Okay, so actually, this is my first solution. So, all we have to do is just return counter and s equal counter and t. And that's it. So, just create a hash map of、uh, string s and t and compare. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, it looks good. And、uh, this is、uh, uh, faster than other solutions. And,、uh, but the time is, I think, same. So, o n time and the space is o one if、um, input strings、uh, consist of lowercase alphabet only. This is a step by step algorithm of the third solution. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next question.